Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked and today I'm going to be showing you how to edit a RAW file. I'm going to show you the whole entire workflow here on a Macintosh computer using After Effects and a program called RAW Magic. Now there are two major programs, RAW Magic, which is what we're going to be using today, and RAW to DNG, which are the programs that convert your RAW files from the Magic Lantern hack um, into a readable file for After Effects or DaVinci Resolve. Now the raw to DNG pretty much only works with After Effects and a few other uh, workflows which we'll be going over in the future on the Mac. Um, but today we're going to really focus on the After Effects workflow because I find it to be the best workflow. Um, so the nice thing about the raw magic is that it, it puts it into a cinema DNG, therefore DaVinci Resolve can read it. Since I don't have DaVinci Resolve here on my Mac, I actually cannot uh, test that out. So I've never had the uh, opportunity to test it out here on a Mac. And the Raw Magic only is a Mac only software at the present. So it is not for the PC. On the PC, I'm still using Raw to DNG to convert my files. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go on and drag and drop the Raw file right onto there. And we're going to go on and exit it out. And it's going to, you can set up for auto detect. I know it's a 5D Mark II footage, so I'm just going to go on and pick that. And then we're going to click convert, and it's going to ask me where do I want to put it. Um, so I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to put it in my raw mark 2 and I've already what I did is I just made a separate folder that is named the same name as the actual file and I'm going to put it in there and actually I'm going to go on and delete that file or just leave it as is but I'm going to put it in this folder right here so I'm going to click choose um, now it's going to go on and convert it. It's actually pretty quick, but it's only 319 frames, so that's roughly maybe 10 seconds of footage. Um, and it lets you know the size, frame rate, uh, all that stuff, your ratio. Um, so it's kind of cool. It's going to let you know where it's putting it um, or where it's coming from. So once this finishes, we're going to open up After Effects, and we're going to do a little bit of editing. All right, so that is finished. So I'm going to go on and exit out of that. Um, my computer is kind of slow, unfortunately. So it, uh, it can only handle one major software at a time um, when it comes to editing. So I can't have After Effects and Premiere open at the same time because it, it would cause it to freeze up more than likely. So once After Effects opens up, it's going to take a second. We're going to bring the files right into After Effects and do our editing. Now, anybody that's done any type of editing with raw pictures and Adobe uh, Photoshop, you're really going to love this. So we're going to... Cancel out of this, and we're going to open ourselves up a new project. So once we've done that, let's see if it's opening up. New project. We're going to go on and open up that, and the files are going to be in here. So we're just going to click the very first one, uh, Camera Raw Sequence, and we're going to open it up, and it's going to bring it in. So you would have to do this step for every single file um, that you wanted to. So if you saw it, uh, let's say 20 different files, you're going to have to go through this step that's going through here, every single one of them, you'd have to follow these steps for each individual file. Um, and then what you do is you bring them into After Effects and you just string them into one large video, export it, and then bring it into Premiere, and then you could chop it up and edit it how you want. So the really cool thing is this is the same exact uh, look that you would get if uh, you were editing a raw picture through Photoshop. So you can go through and actually edit the picture as you wish. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to, I'm just going to do some fast color correction. We're going to bump the clarity. Um, we're going to bring our recovery down. Um, let's see what else we could do. We could add a little fill light if we wanted to, um, but I don't like that. Uh, I think I want to bring up my saturation a tad bit. That looks really nice. Maybe bring up our vibrance a tad bit. And maybe bring up the contrast a tad bit. Uh, now we can bring up the contrast a tad bit more. That kind of looks pretty rich. Again, I'm just doing this real quick. Um, so you have many other options. You can mess with curves if you know curves very well. Uh, if you wanted to do a little bit of sharpening, we could just do a super mat amount of sharpening. As you notice, that's almost too sharp, so maybe we'll bring it back down again real quick. Um, once you've done that, once you've got your color correction, um, if you do use DaVinci Resolve, I would highly suggest that you just kind of keep everything except for maybe a few things that you want to change as is and then bring it into DaVinci Resolve later and do your color correction there. Um, but if this is where we're going to do most of your color correction, by all means, go through this and do your color correction through this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click OK. It's going to bring it in. I'm going to double click on it. Um, I could watch it. But my computer is going to be real jerky about it. It's going to be really slow here on my Mac. 
So, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring it down here to composition. And I'm just going to go on and export it as is. So we're going to go up here to composition and we're going to add to render queue. And then we're going to best settings. Actually, I've got one too many compositions. So we're going to exit one of those. We're just going to do one. Uh, so you can go into here and you can pick your your settings as wish. So the file size is 1472 by 828. And we want to go full resolution. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click this down to 24. Actually, 23.96, if I remember correctly, is the actual frame rate. So to be very specific. Uh, and then you can go in and fig figure out any other stuff that you want to do here. So that looks good to me. Uh, output, you could go through here if you need to mess with anything. Uh, as far as things are concerned, you could make it H.264 and all that stuff. So I'm just going to leave that as is. Uh, and then you can figure out where you want to put it. And we're going to go put it in the folder. So let's go find the folder here. There it is. We're going to save it into here. Once we've got all that set how we like it, we're going to hit render. It'll take on this computer probably for 10 seconds of footage. It's probably going to take about four or five minutes to do. On my PC, I would be done. It would be almost done right now, probably. So, uh, as you notice, it's uh, 10.4, 10 and one tenth of a second long. Um, and this is probably going to be roughly 900 megabytes for such a small file. So I will be back with you guys soon as it finishes up and uh, we'll exit out of After Effects and we will uh, bring it into VLC Player and we'll watch it and hopefully my computer won't like freeze up too much while it's trying to read the file because it's such a, <laughs> such a large file. Um, for some reason my computer has issues with that. Again, it's an older Mac and MacBook Pro. So uh, Also, this is what I would do if I was to be uh, editing multiple files. Again, I'd bring them all in one at a time and then I'd string them all together and uh, then just export them and then bring them into Premiere because once you export them on these file format um, you can bring it right into Premiere next to your editing right in Premiere or Final Cut or whatever you use to edit so be right back with you guys okay so it is finished up so what I'm going to do now is uh, oh, I'm not going to exit out of this quite quite yet I'm just going to make sure it's in the folder um, yep there's my file right there so I'm going to go on and exit out of After Effects because it's probably going to freeze up if I stay in After Effects. I'm not going to save this. And we'll double click or we'll go on open it up with VLC player. Seems to be the best way to run things. Um, also, I will put up this raw file here. I will put this, I will post this uh, up on the internet so you'll be able to download it and you can download the file and follow along with me. And as you can see, the footage looks pretty nice, maybe a little green, um, and uh, it's a little shaky, but I was just kind of just doing a little bit of test footage. And that's it. So that's 10 seconds of footage, and uh, it's about 43 megabytes um, once it's exported. So again, uh, there will be a link down below where you can download the footage and follow along with me um, if that helps you guys out. As well, there'll be a link to the Raw Magic, which you can also find in the App Store. So hopefully this helps you guys out. We're going to have other tutorials for the Mac and PC because there's a bunch of different workflows and different people need different workflows to fit, fit their software uh, requirements and all that stuff. So you guys have a wonderful day, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Check us out on MediaUnlocked.net is our new website, as well as David D. Images on Facebook and Media Unlocked on Twitter.